Hi everyone, welcome to Eckhart Yoga. My name is Esther and today I'm going to show you a way you can begin to bring Warrior 3 uh, into your practice. And Warrior 3 is one of those poses that really builds up strength very, um, very much in your legs and whole core. And as well, because it's such a heavy pose to be in, it gets your heart rate going, so it's good for stamina. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to come into a forward bend and then take a step back with our left leg into a lunge. And then from here, pull the belly up, make the leg strong and come up, holding the right knee with both hands. And then turn to face the whole upper body to really uh, be over that right leg, okay? Then we're going to come into a warrior tree from here. So you're going to gently lift your leg, push your right thigh bone back as you lift your left leg up. And when the body is in one straight line, you bring your arms up parallel to the floor. And you take three breaths here or something. And then you can come back into that same lunge that you started from. So I took three breaths. Um, I would start with that and then work your way up to five breaths. Stop. Then step your other leg back. We'll repeat it on the other side. Coming up, using your stomach muscles, holding the knee. In this pose, you really want to lift your front body into the back body. Okay. So again, on the next in-breath, you can come forward. Lift your back leg up as you push your left thigh bone back. And once you feel you're parallel to the floor, another point to watch is not to lift your right hip up. You lift your arms up. And then again, you can come back into the lunge you started from. And from there, just take a down dog to stretch yourself out. And come on, hands and knees. You can take a child pose if you wish to take a break. Okay, so that was warrior three. Few pointers is to really keep your hips level. So both hip points, the, point, the bony points at the front of the hips are pointing down when you're up in warrior three. So the tendency is, I'll show you from this side, the tendency is to lift that leg and lift that hip. And you can see how much easier it is to lift that leg. So what you want to do is you want to really draw that down, draw it in. So it becomes parallel to the floor. So that's a really important point. And then the other important point is to Keep your lower ribs in, draw the front body into the back body and find that straight line and then just find the strength to stay in there. Okay, hope that will be helpful for you in your practice. Thank you.